Hey guys, it's Arx here and welcome back to my channel. I'm finally back with another Switch review and I'm excited to review these as it's been a while since we reviewed a Switch from Wotray Studios. The last one, I think we haven't covered the Mirandi but we've covered the Heavy Tactiles. Now I've heard a lot of good stuff about this linear so today let's all take a look and listen at the new Jade linear switch. A quick disclaimer that the switches were sent by Watchway Studios for review but I wasn't paid to make the video and of course I'll give you guys my honest and unbiased opinion about the Jade switches. If you will be interested I'll place my affiliate link down below if you want to help out the channel. Now taking a look at the switches. The Jades are almost similar to the Mirandis but with a twist. So for the materials, it's using palm for both top and bottom housing. For the springs, it's using a long spring, 18mm with a 50g actuation and 60g bottom out force. Now for the stems, it's using a UPE with a metal inserts. Now this is the first time that we'll be trying out the switch with these metal inserts and some say it has a metallic and resonant sound profile and a metallic bottom out. So let's see that on the Soundis. So it still has the light diffuser and the switch just comes in pre-factory lubed and would cost you around $16.50 for 35 pieces. So in today's video, it's going to be the usual but we're not going to do a sound comparison of a stock versus lube as the switch just comes in pre-factory lubed. Now we'll be doing some quick sound comparison with other linear switches and for the soundist, we'll of course be using the Vega 65 and I'll put my configuration for that board down below. Now please do keep in mind that the sound and experience, it will always vary depending on your keyboard build, meaning to say that it might sound, it might feel different depending on your board. So with all of that out of the way, let's do enjoy the soundist on the Jade linear switch. And that was the sound is on the Jade switches. Please do let me know on what you think about the switches on the comment section down below and let's have some quick discussions. If you also made it up to this point of the video, I'd like to say thank you for staying and now let's talk about my thoughts and opinion about the Jades. First, let's talk about my thoughts on the feel. Out of the box, the pre-factory loop from Wotray Studios never disappoints as it feels consistent all throughout my typing and I can say that you don't need to worry about adding loop for that smooth out of the box experience. Now let's talk about the typing experience with that metal thing or the metal insert on the stem. So it's located at the bottom of the stem and with this every bottom out I can say it has that 
metallic feeling every keystrokes or the bottom out and I would say that some may find the bottom out a bit harsh or aggressive due to the metal inserts. I can say that the bottom out feels of it feels a bit more stiffer compared to a normal switch but after using this for like a week now I can say it did add a unique experience when typing especially when you get used to them and the switches are really well balanced I like the springs here it's on that medium weight side so the 50 gram actuation and the 60 gram bottom out force it's not too heavy or not too light for typing now let's move on to my thoughts on the sound. Now for the out of the box, it's good. I didn't hear any scratches, leaf crunch, and even spring things. So for the sound profile, it has that creamy yet a thin clacky sound profile to it. Honestly, I wasn't a fan of this sound profile but it kind of grew on me as I realized that they do sound unique versus other linears that are out right now especially on that metal insert. I wouldn't also say that you will hear that metal insert on the stems or every bottom out as they just sound subtle so nothing to worry about that in terms of the sound profile affecting the metal inserts. Overall, I would say that these switches are a gem that one needs to find. These switches offer a somewhat unique typing and sound experience to the user. I'm happy that these switches are not just a recolor of the Mirandis and it really has a different it really is a different switch with a new character to it now the pricing it's all right it's on that mid-budget category of a switch but for what you're getting i would say it's worth it to try and something to consider in terms of a linear switch and that is it for the video guys i do hope you find the review on the jades helpful and if you do please don't forget to like the video to help out the channel grow i will be reviewing more switches for you and two more boards to cover so stay tuned again don't forget to like the video share if you want and of course subscribe for more and i'll see you guys on the next soundtest peace